Hello, welcome to the Game on Grapevine, your daily whacker of gaming mole. More good stuff for you from E3 today. We've had a good look at Microsoft and Nintendo's offering to the great gaming gods. Now it's time to have a look at what Sony have brought to the table. As expected, Move made a strong appearance at the Expo, giving gamers a chance to get hands-on with the spiffy motion peripheral and a few of the titles in development for launch. Sony also rolled out details for their latest online feature, PlayStation Network Plus. Now, we don't really have any footage of PSN Plus, so here are a few E3 trailers to keep your eyes busy. Listen closely now. You have served your purpose well, my apprentice. PSN Plus is the new additional paid-for service for the PlayStation Network, transforming the platform into a two-tier affair. It'll be made available from the 29th of June, offering subscribers all sorts of things like discounts on certain PSN downloads, early access to select betas and demos, free stuff like themes and the odd full PSN game. Three, two, one, go! For instance, in the first month, PSN Plus subscribers will be able to download Wipeout HD totally free. Nifty stuff. Oh, and look, relevant footage. Now, I think it's fair to say Sony probably took some of their inspiration from the two-tier Xbox Live system, which has been a consistent cash cow for Microsoft since launch. But how closely does PSN Plus follow the example set by Xbox Live Gold? Well, the thing with Xbox Live is, if you're only a silver surfer, you don't get to play online multiplayer. The big question on everyone's lips at the announcement of PSN Plus then was, will Sony be shafting their players by introducing multiplayer charges? The almost immediate response was no. Sony have preempted PlayStation Panic by promising all current PSN features would remain free meaning the thrifty can still carry on playing online without charge. So PSN has retained its biggest advantage over Xbox Live and has added some handy incentives on the top for the super keen who are willing to cough up a bit of cash. The PSN Plus service should cost around £40 for a year's access or £11.99 for three months, just a little bit more expensive than Xbox Live Gold. What we want to know though is since Sony won't be holding your online multiplayer privileges ransom with PSN Plus like Microsoft do with Xbox Live Gold, will you be bothered to fork out for it? Sony promised that full year subscribers will get access to around £200 worth of free stuff, but will that be free stuff you actually want? Either way, leave us a comment below, we'll see how tight-fisted you lot really are. That's your lot from me for now though, more E3 excitement soon.